Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about what I perceive to be one of the worst things that can happen to you as a developer. And something that will make you change jobs, something that will make you unhappy, miserable, have you, you know, considering what else you could be doing. Um, I know for me, the lack of a challenge is probably the uttermost worst thing that can happen uh, if it lasts longer than a week or two because as developers we like challenges we like problem solving we like to continue to grow and so that's what we're gonna be talking about today so people often ask me like Dylan man why do you um why do you quit jobs so much? Why do you, why, you know, other than, you know, the base stuff is companies pay me more money. I say yes. Um, but part of the reason that in the past I've job hopped is because I, I want to be challenged. I've learned the technologies, the tools, and it's time to move on to bigger, better things. And it's not necessarily that, uh, and, you know, there's other, it's more complicated than that. But for a lot of developers, the reason people transition into development from other roles, you know, I was just mentoring a student um, the other day, I call him a student, but a gentleman who, uh, he's a business analyst and the reason he likes development is he wants to be challenged. He wants to be do, so, do something new every day. And that's something a lot of us can relate to. A lot of us can relate to wanting to create, wanting to design, wanting to build, you know, um, you know, part of the fun part for me for Legos is just putting all the pieces together. That used to be a hobby of mine and now I'm too cheap to pay for them because Legos cost a ton. But as a, as a child, I used to love Legos, I used to love connects. I used to, you know, I, I still do. I just, I, you know, I, I typically spend my time on things that progress my career or um, financial interests. And so you know, maybe one day I'll get back into Legos and connects. I, I remember as a kid building like race cars with my, my brother and we would just, what we would do is try to figure out the proper connects building so that we could smash our cars in together and see who could survive. And, you know, you tinker. And that's part of the great part of being a developer is tinkering with things and learning things. That's to, to a lot of developers detriment as well. Sometimes we need to be focused on the task at hand. You know, sometimes part of you, part of you guys don't get jobs um, for extended period of time because you jump between all these things like, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I jumped into Vue, React, Angular, Ember, jQuery. It's like, well, hold, hold up, Pimpin. Hold up. Uh, what, why not just stick to a stack if you, this is your goal, right? These are your dreams. And when you go in the workplace, um, you know, sometimes that happens, unfortunately, where you get good at your job. If you can't get good at your job within a year and you haven't been moved to a new position, moved to a new role, promoted, all that sort of stuff, you should be very concerned because a year is a, a lot of time to be able to spend, you know, what, what do you work about, 1,000 plus hours a year? If you're working 40 hour weeks, assuming that you work 52 weeks a year, probably less than that, right? Holidays, PTOs, we'll just say 50, I don't know. That's about 2,000 hours, so 1,500 hours a year on the low end. You should be able to do your job very well with 1,500 hours in a single year. Um, that doesn't even count any time that you you have spent outside of work progressing your career. So, granted, all that's not going to be coding. About half of that shit's going to be meetings. <laughs> but you get the idea. So, how do you keep it interesting? How do you keep it a challenge? Um, because that's what we want, right? We want to be challenged. Maybe not challenged, because sometimes people think challenging environments are stressful and that can be true but we want to we don't want it to be the same old same old part of the reason people hate their jobs nowadays is because every day they come in they do the same thing um you know most jobs outside of software development and like very technical roles most jobs you could teach somebody in a week and a half two weeks like you know, you are, uh, no disrespect to any cashiers of the world or pizza delivery drivers or anything like that. But I can say without a doubt that if you gave me two weeks as when I was delivering pizzas, I can train somebody in two weeks to do about 
80%, 90% as well of a job as I had done delivering pizzas for six, seven years. And part of that is because it's the same thing. You, you know, you're, you're doing the same 10 things. You might be mopping floors, you might be cutting pizzas, you might be, you might be uh, delivering, you might be giving out change, but there's about 10 things that you're gonna do and you're not going to really have to think outside of the constraints of that job. And software development is one of those fields where you get to you get to do something new every day to a point. And that's what I love about it. And I think that's what a lot of people love about it. And when that stops happening, it starts becoming that, okay, I'm building another component. <laughs> I guess it's going to be a footer. This is that. I'm going to do the same shit I've built again and again, except it's going to be for this. And, you know, you start wanting to get creative. You want to, and that can be a good thing, but also can be a very bad thing. So now you're trying to think, you're trying to invent standards. You're trying to invent principles and methodologies, which is cool. But more often than not, most people don't do that. What ends up happening is they just start disliking their job. So how can we keep it fun? How can we keep it so it doesn't become that sort of monotonous task? And part of that is you expand your skill set. Part of that you go and say, oh, you know what, man, I've been doing front end. Never really dove into UI UX, so like I can build anything in the front end, but I, you know, design has always intrigued me. You know what I'm gonna do? Since I can get my tasks done pretty quickly, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna learn about design, and the next project, I'm gonna implement that into my workflow and take on more responsibilities. And this is what happens for a lot of roles: is you grow your skills, you take on more responsibility, and you know, sort of the the great part of that is, yeah, you get more of a workload, but you also increase your value. And then, you know, you get promotions, whatnot. And, you know, you, it could have been, you dive into the back end, DevOps. And some of this is going to, you know, part of the, the unfortunate thing is a lot of times people think things just happen. Um, they don't. So you have to, you have to sort of force them upon yourself and force them onto other people. So... You know, you say, hey, you know what? I want to learn um, services. I want to learn the back end a little bit better. I want to dive into it. What you do is you just take a small back end, take a set. Sprint's kind of light. <laughs> I'm looking at that ticket over there. Assigned. And you just go and you do it. And if you're struggling on it, you get some help. You know, most of your coworkers, hopefully you're working in an environment where your coworkers want you to grow and want your skills to succeed and want you want to stay challenged and motivated and, and get better. And what, what does it do for them? Well, they have someone that can help them when they're stuck. They have someone to help with their workload, all that sort of stuff. So don't think it's just going to happen. You want to go out of your way to do these things. And um, one of the things you'll find that happens is when you start making suggestions, when you start speaking up about better ways of doing things, uh, the common thing to happen is say, it sounds like we have a volunteer. We still like how many people have heard that? Oh, we got a volunteer over here. We got a and you say, yes, we do. Because I'm ready. I'm ready to go in this direction. I'm ready to try something new. I'm ready to make the team better, make myself better. And not only does that help you, because you're going to get better, but it puts you in a, a bit of a leadership role. It puts you in a little bit of a role where you're a, a go-getter. I don't really like that term, but I can't think of something better. You're one of the people who's, it's clear that you're trying to grow your skills. And that is one of the most powerful things you can do. And it's one of the ways that you can stop from getting bored at a job. And you'll see a lot of developers will suffer with this where they're going into work, they're bored, they're you know, they, they're sick of doing the same old thing, the same old thing. And so they play around with things. They change frameworks, they do this, they do that. Um, but at the end of the day, that's going to be on you. No one else is really going to worry about what's best for your career, what's best for you. Um, you know, if you're bored. And I, I, I say this as someone who has suffered through this in multiple roles where I don't want to say master, but you get proficient in what your job is and you want to grow right you want to be that true full stack and this is why you have people that go from web dev to mobile and uh, web dev to devops or whatever happens because they want something new they want a new challenge maybe they want to um, grow their skill and so one of the worst things in my opinion for a developer is when you no longer 
feel challenged, when you no longer feel like you're learning, when you no longer, when you sort of feel like you're just going at a steady pace. Um, the thing that's best for me and most exciting is when I'm doing one of these. And that's why when I take on roles, every job I've, take, I've taken on, I've uh, always had new technologies that I'm not familiar with, right? Of course, my, my first role, AngularJS, PHP, a little bit of my SQL testing, didn't really touch any of that. And of course, I'm getting better with core technologies. My second role, TypeScript, Angular, learning about clean code principles, solid principles. Um, role after that, C Sharp, .NET, uh, a little bit in Vue. Um, then of course, a bunch of testing frameworks, Jest, Mocha Chai, learning of that. And then uh, my, my current role where I'm diving into Node, Express, MongoDB, all that sort of stuff, because um, I don't want to go from one role to another role where I'm doing the same exact thing. I want to grow my skill set. I want to grow my technology. I want to play with this. And granted, they're all sort of front end related, and that's why you can do that. Um, and it's it's one of those exciting things. Is what I would uh, anyhow. The point I'm trying to get uh, across is when you're when you're looking for new roles, when you're looking for uh, potential opportunities. Culture is a big thing, but also try and look for something that's a challenge that's going to grow you. We oftentimes have the um, we have the need to go to something that feels comfortable. If you feel comfortable going into a brand new job, um, you probably didn't choose something that you are super unfamiliar with or uh, that's going to be a challenge and you may not be happy long term there uh, because of that and you might burn out earlier and you might not enjoy it as much. So keep that in mind. Uh, as always, my girlfriend's about to, to come and do the sliding glass door with the puppies. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my courses in the description below. Um, and of course, uh, uh, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I want to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've had the pleasure of visiting some of their campuses back when uh, in Provo, and it was a beautiful campus. I, I think they've moved to Lehigh in recent times. But if you're interested in a boot camp that also provides housing so you can get up and go in web development, QA, iOS development, UI, UX, they got it all. Check them out at devmountain.com. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.